On one occasion I was referred to a specialist hospital with stool samples. When I got there for my interview with the specialist, the sister asked me on his behalf, was I taking a certain medicine? And I replied, no, because I react to it. She referred back to him. The message came out from him. If I would not take that medicine, he would not treat me. And that was the end of the treatment. What I find frustrating is the fact that I, the, uh, the hospital sent through a message to my doctor about medication for me. She said she didn't receive it. I rang the hospital again and they said, although they'd sent it, they send it again. This time she did get it, which was Wednesday, but she didn't do anything about it. And I never got my medication until the following Tuesday, which means I was a whole week without having the medication that I used. There aren't very many uh, examples, but an example might well be the lack of communication whenever a member of the family has something like Alzheimer's or dementia to involve other members of the family. I, I would like that a lot more. When the doctor is not making eye contact with the patient or giving the patient an opportunity to ask question about her care and the medication being prescribed for her. I was very frustrated in the care my late husband received when we went to the hospital and discovered that the consultant had either not read the notes or had lost them. The most frustrating thing I found with regard to getting to see a doctor in the first place and the, afterwards the care that I have received anyhow has been more than good.